What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel, and I hope everybody's having a great day because people with LHR cards are having even a better day. Um, and what I mean by that, if you don't know what an LHR card is and you're watching this video, that is NVIDIA's newer cards. They're light hash rate. That's what that stands for. And um, basically, they're not as good at mining, uh, more specifically Ethereum, but it also affects Ethereum Classic and um, some other small algorithms. It's mainly Ethereum, though. That's that's the big one here. Uh, but T-Rex Miner has come out with an update from, looks like about a day and a half ago, almost two days ago. And they have come out with another LHR unlock. So this is hot on the heels from NB Miner releasing a LHR unlock um, where they were getting about 70% of the hash rate. Um, so now T-Rex Miner has their own and apparently theirs burns a little bit less power. Because that's one of the big things. These LHR cards, people are getting some hash rates out of them, but man, do they burn a lot of power. Let's click on over and see the official uh uh, GitHub, GitHub for T-Rex. <coughs> oh man, sorry about that. Here we are. So uh, this is the official T-Rex GitHub, and this is their breakdown of the LHR guide. So the T-Rex has a partial LHR unlock functionality for 30 series GPUs mining ETH hash. Um, you get about 70% of your full hash rate, just like uh, some of the other unlocks out there. But according to some videos I've seen and people recommending this to me, it burns less power, and it's you can kind of fine-tune it, um, or it, it kind of fine-tunes itself. Anyway, in order to enable LHR mode, you need to explicitly tell the miner which GPUs are LHR and which are not. This is done by specifying um, LHR tune parameter, which takes values from 0 to 8. 0 is disabled, 1 is lowest hash rate, 4 is recommended starting value for most LHR cards, and I or 8 is the highest hash rate, but it's a high chance of LHR locking. So it can also be set for each GPU separately and independently, so you can set it as different. You know, If you have a LHR card mixed in with non-LHRs, you can turn them off for certain ones and then on for others. This will tell the miner that the third GPU is LHR if you go 0, 0, 4, 0, and then it needs to start with a tuning value of 4, while the rest of the cards are non-LHR. Hive OS equivalent, there's the breakdown for that. Uh, it is important not to set the intensity values manually as that may interfere with the unlocking algorithm. The miner will try to achieve the reasonable hash rate levels using the provided settings and if that's not possible, it will start aiming lower. During the process, the reported hash rate will fluctuate and mostly stay on the lower side because every LHR lock will cause the miner to pause for 20 seconds to unlock the GPU. So you may need to wait till it finds stable settings. Don't change your overclock settings too much while the miner is running. Particularly, be careful with the changes that may result in a rapid hash rate drop, like reducing memory overclock or decreasing power limits significantly all during mining. This can trick the miner into thinking the LHR has kicked in. Um, and more specifically, for 3060 or Rev 1 or 1st edition OG 3060s, Cards are not given any special treatment, and you're better off running them with the 470.05 uh, driver, the developer driver, to get the full 49, 50 mega hash out of them. And that's because the the LHR setup on those cards is different. Those are mining nerfed. We call those mining nerfed cards, and the newer 3060s are the LHR. So just know that. Um, now, right now, I don't have any LHR cards. All of my 30 series are all non-LHR, but I do have a 3060 Ti LHR coming in. So I'm going to be doing a comparison and see what kind of power and what kind of hash rate I can get on T-Rex, uh, NB, and then I believe also G Miner has a partial LHR unlock. So we're going to try all of those, and that'll be in a video coming up here soon. My cards should be in in the next day or two, so look out for that. But I, I wanted to get this information out there because if you guys do have these LHR cards, this is another option. Um, so the more the merrier. Before you know it, we'll be looking at 80, 90, 100% hash rate unlocks, baby. LHR what? We're going to be like, LHR who? NVIDIA just needs to, don't even worry about it. Just don't even make it no more. So anyway, guys. I hope y'all have a great day. Um, I got some stuff coming down the pipeline that will be exciting for some people, um, not exciting for others. Uh, so just look out for that. It's uh, it's about the PCIe splitters, and um, yeah, they're they're coming. So they're actually going to be available. 
they haven't been available for so long. Um, but yeah, man, five minutes. I got that done quick. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. Adios.